Baghdad this morning is preparing to make history with its first ever papal visit at a time of increased tension. Pictures line many streets of Pope Francis next to the Shiite Grand Ayatollah Ali al Sistani, who he's scheduled to meet. But mostly the Pope's visit is aimed at supporting Iraqi Christians who have been leaving the country where they've lived for nearly two millennia in droves because of civil war and persecution by Islamic extremists, including ISIS. At Baghdad's St. Joseph's Church, this visit is seen as recognition of the hardships the community has endured. Pope Francis is coming to his sons. He will come to all Iraqis, not just for Christians. But this is an especially dangerous time. Rockets have been flying. The Pentagon suspects Shiite militias fired 10 rockets at a U.S. airbase in western Iraq yesterday. The AP reports they were launched from this truck. No U.S. troops were killed, but an American contractor died of a heart attack while sheltering. We're uh, identifying who's responsible and we'll make judgments from that point. The rocket attack is widely believed to be revenge by Iranian-backed militias for an airstrike President Biden ordered on them last week. The militias have recently intensified their attacks on U.S. personnel. The Pentagon didn't rule out further strikes. I'm uh, not prepared to speak to potential future responses. No one here wants to see this escalate. Certainly not Iraqis now facing a pandemic, tit-for-tat U.S. and Iranian violence, and preparing for a visit like never before. It's unclear how many Christians still remain in Iraq. There hasn't been a census in, in many years. There used to be around 1.5 million, but priests estimate that the number is more like 200 to 300,000. And it is hoped that the Pope's four-day visit, and he won't just be in Baghdad, will encourage Christians in Iraq and throughout the Middle East to stay. Craig? Our you. chief foreign correspondent, Richard Engel, in Baghdad for us. Richard, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.